Hello. Today we're going to go over the third in our series of time-saving tips for D365 for finance and operations. What we're going to go over is periodic journals. A lot of people refer to these as recurring journals, but in the D365 terminology, they're periodic journals. These can be your depreciation entry if you're not using the fixed asset submodule, payroll, your amortization, that sort of thing. A periodic journal can be the same amount each month or each quarter, however often you want to do it, or they can be different amounts. I also know a lot of people have regular entries where the dollar amounts change, but the dollar amounts are based upon something else, like you're allocating payroll benefits based upon gross payroll, or you're allocating utilities based upon square footage, and you would really use an allocation journal for that rather than a periodic journal. I also know a lot of our clients use Excel to import recurring entries, and that works quite well. There are, however, a couple of tools that D365 gives us if we're using periodic journals that are not available to us if we're bringing in Excel entries, and we'll go over those when we get to those steps in the process. The first thing, if you want to create a periodic journal entry, if you want to use periodic journal entry functionality, you have to create a journal name. So we go to the regular journal name setup, and I've got a journal name set up called Periodic Journal. And the only thing is it has to have a journal type of periodic as opposed to daily, which is the journal type that we use for most of our journals. In this particular case, I have one journal name of Periodic Journal with obviously one voucher series. I could have more, but in this case, I'm just using one. I'm just pointing out that your mechanism may ask that you do more of them. So once you actually create the periodic journal name, then you set up your periodic journals. And so you go to journal entries, periodic journal, and I have four set up. We're going to look at the payroll entry. And so we go to lines and you can see that the periodic journal looks pretty much like the journal for regular daily journal entries that we do. We've got accounts, we've got offsets accounts, whatever. The thing that is different is these columns to the right. And in this case, we're telling D365 that we want this entry to be once every month and we want it to be once every one month as opposed to once every three months or once every 12 months. One of those tips and techniques that D365 provides to us that we do not get if we're just bringing in Excel is the visibility to the last time that this journal was created. And it was created on April 30th. So that is our periodic entry that we want to be able to do on a recurring basis. To actually create the entry for this month, we start in a general journal and we say that we want to create a new general journal. And again, we could have multiple journal types set up here, which would also give us the different voucher series if you'd like to use different voucher series for the different entries. And then we go into lines. And once in lines, we select period journal and then retrieve the journal. And in this case, let's say that I want to do this as of June 30th and the specific journal that I want to retrieve or that I want to copy, if you will, is the payroll journal. And this is important because if I select move, it will copy the periodic journal into my general journal, but it will delete the lines, which means it will no longer be there next month available for me to use. So it's important to select copy from here. The other thing is I'm selecting, I want this to happen in June, but the date of the actual journal will be based upon the date of the underlying journal. And if you notice the date of the underlying periodic journal was the 20th of the month, and so this will come in on the 20th of June. And I just say, okay. And in a couple minutes, my periodic journal will come in and populate my general journal. And you can tell it looks exactly the way the periodic journal was. From here, I can delete a line, I can change a line, I can change some dollar amounts, all sorts of things. If I decide that I want to save the changes to this journal, then I would go back to periodic journal and I would say that I want to save this journal. But in this case, I don't want to make any changes. I just want to post the journal. So I would just go through my regular validate and post process and my journal transaction for the month of June for payroll using the periodic journal functionality of D365 is complete.